because I'm saving it for taxes. I'm saving it for like my family. I'm saving it, you know? Um, so when they said they could offer me a 15%, um, like, you know, instead of the 20%, I was like, yes, I, I will take the 85% of my income instead of the 80. And also like the other sites, um, one of the other sites was the 20%, but the other site was a 30%. And I was like, 30% is too much. Like that is almost where I could just open my own site and use a payment processor that's going to charge me that much. Um, so that's, that's the first thing with Fansly is that they offered me that and no other site has offered me that so far. And that was like, that meant a lot to me. Um, the second thing is I am in direct contact with like the heads of it and they have been texting me, not even through Twitter. Like I have their number. We have been texting and they've listened to my concerns. Like, one of my concerns I had was I wanted to be featured on their like little feature page because right now they just feature like, I guess, Twitch streamers like Amaranth and a few. I don't really know Twitch. I don't watch Twitch streams. I don't really know. Um, but they feature just a couple of girls. And I was like, oh, like, is there any way that I can get on that just to boost my account up? Even if it is for a week, I'm trying to get more exposure. Of course, um, as you're they- transferring. Yeah. 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 Like while I'm transferring over, like, I'd love to get that exposure. Um, just because, you know, it's been like a mess, like this only because most of my people were on OnlyFans, and now I'm like, I just want to get more people. And, um, they even made a tweet today saying that they're going to work on implementing the new system for the features where it changes like weekly or, you know, monthly or whatever. And that, I was so happy they actually listened to me. No site has ever listened to me ever. <laughs> So that was another thing. And I love the the way the site works, which um, I, have y'all looked at the site at all? Like, have y'all actually like made an account yet? Or? Not yet. I looked at it a little bit. Um, I didn't make an account yet, but I was just kind of like going through it a little bit just to see kind of the layout and whatnot. It does look really, really clean. Uh, I do like the the layout and whatnot. Yeah, the layout is almost like Twitter in a way. It's a little bit of like a Twitter, a little bit of like OnlyFans layout, except I love that they have more features than OnlyFans. The only feature they don't have yet is live streams, which I do live streams on my OnlyFans, Mm -hmm. except they did tell me that they are currently working on adding that to their site. They're currently working on it. So you know, within a few months or so, I'll have that feature anyways. And then there will be like no reason. No for reason anything. to go back. Yeah. Yeah. There's like no reason. And um, no, their features are great because people can follow you for free and you mm-hmm. can post a few like freebies here and there just to like kind of entice people like to get them to join. But also you can have different tiers of like subscriptions because with OnlyFans, it was like one price and done, but I have two different prices. I have like my normal subscription, which is like $15. And then I have my VIP subscription, which is a hundred dollars. You get like a ton of shit with my VIP, which I'm actually going to like call it like, like my normal subscription is going to be called Kings. And then my hundred dollar subscription is going to be called gods because you get treated like a King and then you get treated like a God, you know? Um, yeah, like I, I'm super happy. Like they have cool features on this site and um, it's just, it's been really fun to use. And I feel like more excited to, rather than like kind of getting stressed out because one of the things that stressed me out with OnlyFans is that um, like they would almost like always try to make it about numbers. Like, like the whole platform, like the whole interface of the platform is like, you can see how many followers you can have and you can immediately see when it drops. Like if someone doesn't subscribe or, and then they oh, also, always too showed much. Your, yeah, yeah. And they always showed your statistic of, in like kind of comparing you to other models. I was wondering about that. I was like, it is cool to be like the top zero zero point one percent or whatever. But at the same time, it's like, is that, a sort of good mindset a sort of competition against other people when it doesn't really need to be like that. Okay. Yeah. I actually like, and this is just me full on like admitting this. I mm-hmm. became so obsessed with my numbers that it was, I actually had to like talk to my therapist about it because it was oh. like unhealthy. Cause my biggest goal was like, I want to be the 0.01, 0.01%. And I did it. I was able to accomplish it. And the I was very able best to it ever was. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I was so excited about it. But once I hit that, I felt like so unfulfilled. I was like, Mm. I work so hard and I'm still like, it's like, it's never enough. Like you keep wanting to like outdo yourself. And it's not that I am comparing myself to other women because I don't like that kind of competitive nature. 
but it's also like you just feel like you constantly have to keep outdoing yourself and I don't like that because this is my job this isn't like an athletic competition sport you know um so that kind of aspect with OnlyFans was very unhealthy because you had girls kind of posting their numbers and I posted my number. My number was in my bio. Like I'm 0.01%. And so you can come find out why. And I've been realizing like, that's kind of like, it, it is a flex, but it's also, um, it's almost like people base your worth off of that. And I'm not really, mm -hmm. I'm not wanting to do that with Fansly. I don't want to focus on my, like, earn like my statistics or whatever. I just want to like make the content and put it out there. And Fansly like has a really good like system for it. Like it shows you how many followers you have and it shows people that, but your subscribers, they're not like shoving your subscriber number down your throat. And I really love the way that's set up. Um, it makes me feel better. It makes me feel like less like anxious and stressed about it, but that's good. That's just me. So, <laughs> well, I'm sure you're not alone on that. I mean, if you feel that way, I mean, it sounds like it's kind of an issue out there, you know? So that's, it's good that they don't do that. So. Yeah. yeah. It sounds more collaborative than uh, the competition aspect that, uh, I'm not sure if it was trying to go for that, but it sounds less competitive, like on Fansly, but more about supporting the community, which sounds way better. Yeah, yeah, they've been like way more supportive and they've been making it um, less of like a money grab and more of like, hey, like we actually want to provide like cool features for you. We want to make this a fun experience rather than feeling like you have to hustle because yeah. OnlyFans feels like more of a hustle rather than like a fun experience. At least that's how I feel. Um, and it's mainly just because it's so numbers oriented. That's why everybody posts their numbers. That's why everybody is like, I'm in the top 1% or I'm in the top 0.01. .01. You know, that's, it's just like all of this like weird hustle and like competitive nature thing. And it makes me like sad because it's like, I don't want to feel like I'm always like competing with either myself or other women. Um, but that, that's a cool thing about it. Um, and I don't know, I just, I really love the site overall and I recommend people just to make an account. Cause you don't even have to put your card information to make an account, but uh. with, um, only fans, you have to put your card information and you can follow people for free. Like you don't have to pay for something if you don't want to, but you can pay for something even if you're not subscribed to them, which is also cool. Um, that is very cool. Yeah. Time to go to yeah. incognito mode right now. 